Number 5. India has taken the lead in the development of smart anti-airfield weapon, and has become the first country to successfully test it. This marks a significant achievement by Defence and Research Development Organisation of India. In this video, Defence Updates provides viewers with clear understanding of the weapon and underlines its impact. Let's get started. Number 4 Aircrafts can only take to sky if the runway is in proper condition. Also bunkers and aircraft hangars need to be in correct shape for optimum operations. If these are damaged, then even the most advanced aircrafts become useless. The most strategically decisive, best known, and first wartime use of specialized anti-runway weapons was by Israel, during the 1967 Six-Day War. In a preemptive strike on the first morning of the war the much smaller Israeli Air Force conducted the strike. The double bombs played a major part in the near-complete destruction of the large Egyptian Air Force, mostly on the ground. The surprising elimination of the Egyptian Air Force and resulting Israeli Air Supremacy contributed significantly to the outcome of the war on all fronts. The double bombs were not smart weapons and had limited range. Smart anti-airfield weapon is precision weapon with very high accuracy and has an excellent standoff range. Number 3 The government sanctioned 56 crore rupees for the SAAW project in September 2013, and DRDO started work on it. SAAW is completely indigenous, from the material to the technology as well as all the systems and the subsystems. As per details provided, SAAW weighs around 125 to 150 kilograms and has a strike distance of 80 to 100 kilometers. This long-range weapon is air-to-surface. This will lend a huge power boost to Indian Air Force since the high-explosive warhead is capable of destroying even the steel-reinforced concrete runways, bunkers and aircraft hangars of enemy. This deep penetration capabilities makes it impossible for the enemy aircraft to take to skies. This long-range weapon is air-to-surface type and can be launched from Jaguar and Su-30 aircraft. In future, the same can be integrated to the French Rafale aircraft being imported by the Indian Air Force. Number 2 The proof of complexity of the weapon can be understood by the fact that no country has actually tested this type of weapon successfully till now. It is to be mentioned that with the development of this weapon, India has reached a platform higher than any other country even the United States of America. US is the only other country in the process of developing these kind of precision guided glide bombs, but has failed to successfully test the same. The small diameter bombs with a weight of 110 kilograms being developed by US were scheduled to enter production about two years back, but could not be kicked off despite two different companies being entrusted with the development in two different phases. Israel is another country which is trying to develop this, but is yet to taste success in these weapons. Number 1 Its long standoff range of 100 km will allow the Indian Air Force to hit adversary airfields with high precision from a safe distance. This will provide India with a huge tactical edge in future battles. Defence Minister Minahar Perkar has set a target to raise India's defence exports to $2 billion in the next two years from the current $330 million. To know more check the above card. This weapon also fits right into that endeavor, as it has potential for export to friendly countries. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section, this will help us improve.